Pep Talk UK, Pro B's in the building in the Copper Box Arena. And I'm joined by the man himself. Yes, muscles and all. The crutches have gone. He is back. The crutches gone. Don't ask me about the hips because it's in the bin. So I don't know what that old thing's doing. I got new hips now. So you're back, you're back to full fitness, right? Uh, give me 95% and then I'm going to start pressing weights, G. I'm, I'm, deli back up there again. I'm delighted to be joined by Johnny Nelson now. Fabulous night of boxing. I was really impressed by the man himself, Joshua Boazzi. I mean, talk us through his uh, his uh, win and picking up the British title. So Boazzi picking up the British title, you've got to, you, you've got to give credit where credit's due. I think this side of the world, Boazzi is king of the hill, bar mm -hmm. Anthony Yard. And, the, and, and, okay. and, and so these two, once these two cross swords, cross paths, then we'll know who's top of the hill. So right now, those, those two are the most talented fighters in Europe. Now, now, Boatsy picked up the British title because he want to get the one style belt, keep the one style belt. And then on top of that, I do it the traditional route Commonwealth European and do it like that because that way you give yourself confidence all over the world. Boatsy can fight. I watched this guy and I thought, after the first 30 seconds, mm -hmm. I thought, brilliant. This is the best I've seen so far. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and that's it. So the only one I'd, I'd, I'd question mark over is, is Yard. How would he go on against Yard? That's mm. it. It's not there. But Boatsy, humble, what's well within himself. And usually when you look at top fighters, when they're at the top of the tree, you look at the early fights, how they dealt with domestic level fighters, and they dealt with them with ease. That's what he's doing. Third round, he's just, bang, he's just getting them out of there. Yeah, just take him out of there with ease. Yeah. So you've got to give him. Give I him mean, I, I must admit, when I saw Lee and Conroy in the ring, and I saw the size difference, yeah. I thought it could be different this time. It could be uh, a bit of a longer fight, but yeah. how wrong Again, was I? Punch perfect. You know, even when he missed, it looked good. You know what I mean? And so that, to me, I just thought, he looked befuddled, he looked on point. So to me, I liked it. I liked all of them. If we ever did get in the ring with uh, Anthony Yard, I mean, how could you see that fight going I think, in terms I think of the most skillful out a tactical two, breakdown? The most skillful out of the two is Boatze. But then that's not all that counts. That's not all it could, I, because I think, I think Tyson Fury technically is better than all of them. Technically. But he's not, he's not stronger than all of them. He's not faster than all of them. So you've got to have the whole package. So I'm going on technique, that's what I know, that's what I understand. So so that's why I would lean towards Boatsy. When I'm not saying it's a done deal, because Yard can punch, Yard can box, Yard can fight. And that's where the problem is, because Andy Green has come to get on the yeah, How do you think Andy Yard would get on against uh, Kovalev if that fight did happen? So we're all thinking about the Kovalev of, of old. You know, remember this man's a bit more shot worn. This man's a little older. I think this man, this man is not the fight he was. Yeah. It might be fight at the right time in the right place. A good scalp to have on your record. Mm -hmm. uh, and 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 your people aren't stupid. They ain't gonna put him in a fight where he's, he's in too deep. You know, so let, let's. It's all about let's timing, as Tundia Jai says. You know, you know, you saw Anthony Joshua be bloody near Kalichko, and we thought, oh God, is it too early? It was a big gamble. The time was perfect. So again, for Kovalev and Yar, that could be perfect timing. So, big fight ahead next month. I think you know where I'm going, Madison Square Garden. I need your humble expert opinion. Amir Khan faces uh, one of the pound for pound kings, Terence Crawford. Right, Predictions, so, please. So let's, let's do it. I think Amir Khan against Terence Crawford is an excellent fight. And I've been a massive critic of Amir Khan for fights that he hasn't taken. He's been very mad. But you've got to give Amir Khan credit because this is a tough, ass, dangerous fight for him to take against Crawford. Amir Khan is the fastest fighter I've ever seen live. So if Amir Khan can stay in his toes, keep that speed, keep that distance, I think he can pull it off. But I don't think that'll happen because Crawford is a badass. Crawford is a butcher. You know, and, and so it's a case of what happens on the night. We saw Amir Khan against Canelo. I thought he was winning against Canelo. One split second, mm -hmm. lack of concentration, boom, it was over. Yeah. So Amir Khan, can he, can he keep it up? Can he stay on his toes? Can he use the speed? Can he be the fastest fight in the world for 12 rounds against Crawford? I don't think so. I hope so because he's a Brit. But what I'm saying is Crawford is a butcher. And that's what you've got to look out for. Thank you. The expert opinion of Johnny Nelson. Like, share, comment, subscribe, Pep Talk UK. Johnny Nelson, Peace. Peace. aka Johnny B. Bad, my guy. <laughs> <laughs>